be building a stool and what's cool about this stool is the design part of it uh, I've had this design tucked away for some time and just haven't really gotten around to doing it uh, but today we're gonna build it uh, so it consists of three pieces of wood uh, the first of which is the round top and I'm drawing that out with Tim's Sway's new square new tool if you don't know who Tim Sway is check him out over at timsway.net uh, and support him by getting one of his tools so this is like I said three pieces of wood the top is round and then you have two uh, rectangular pieces of wood which need to have certain pieces cut out uh, but the first piece that you saw me drawing out was the the round top that's what I'm cutting out here on the bandsaw uh, this can be done with a circular saw and a jigsaw uh, in this video I'm using a table saw and a bandsaw either is fine and so I've cut out the round top now I'm going to cut out the other two pieces uh, for the, the legs and so the first step in this project is to uh, cut out the different parts to where the two legs can just slide together so in this whole design there aren't any fasteners you don't use any glue you can uh, you can use screws and glue if you like to kind of hold it in place uh, more securely but the whole design aspect of this project is to be able to put it together knock it down and just go with it if it was scaled up to like a table uh, you can knock it down store it under a bed or along a wall or you know somebody that is moving quite frequently or a student or something like that uh, so that I can see where this can be really useful and, and, and handy in several applications so the first leg or the first board this rectangular piece of board I drew out all the pieces that I need to cut out and I'm going to transfer that here over to the other piece of wood with the exception of a slot that you see going down the middle uh, and the reason for that is uh, the other piece will have the a shorter slot coming up from the arch whereas the 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 first one that I did had the slot coming down from the top and this is going to allow these two pieces of uh, these two boards to slide together and create a, a crisscross effect and to where they just lock in place on one another uh, so uh, here's the second piece I'm cutting out the the bottom arch uh, and because I've transferred it they should match up when they go together and there should be there shouldn't be any uh, inconsistencies there and so after I get that all cut out um, I'm just gonna Draw, put it together and draw out where the legs meet the top and that's really honestly the best way you can measure um, I have plans for this and I've got the measurements on there uh, but as far as getting it accurate I recommend just putting the legs together like so and drawing out where these uh, so-called through tenons are going to be uh, going through the top uh, so that's what I'm doing here I'm cutting out the the notches around the edge of the circular top where the legs will connect so I want to just pause for a second and say thank you to all of my patrons uh, these guys support me over on patreon and I just want to say that I appreciate them very much if you want to learn more about how you can support us through patreon you can find a link down in the description that will take you to our patreon page so getting back to the project this is the part of the project where I am sanding out all of the imperfections I could have used a circle cutting jig to, ha to get a nicer round top uh, but I freehanded it and so now I'm having to go back and sand out all of the imperfections uh, so think about that if you try to do this yourself so but now you can kinda see how this is gonna look so the two leg portions of the stool fit together with those slots that create the base and the top goes on and the notches and the so-called tenons there will just fit together real nice and snug and so you don't need any screws or glue with this thing that makes it a perfect project for say a young student or a new woodworker uh, because you can make this with limited tools uh, but also this could be a good project if you scaled it into a table or something for somebody to have this in say a dorm room or somebody that moves because it breaks down pretty easy it's easy, easy to store um, also those that like to build and sell things say on Etsy um, this would be easy to ship once it's broken down so but whatever your case is if you're interested in learning how to build this we have plans for it there's a link down in the description check it out if you're interested uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time